Hey everyone, my name is Ashton August and today we're here to bring to you a very simple bedtime yoga sequence to help you get a great night's rest. Yoga is an excellent way to calm the mind and relax the body to prepare you for a good night's rest. We are going to incorporate conscious breathing techniques, restorative yoga poses, and gentle stretches to help prepare you for sleep. This yoga sequence is brought to you by New Sleep. New Sleep is a bedding company that incorporates special technology in their products that help regulate your body temperature so you can get a great night's rest. The best part about this practice is that you can do it in bed. So brush your teeth, put on your comfiest pair of PJs, and hop on into bed. All you need is all that you've already got. Your bed, two pillows, and a blanket. Let's get started. We will begin our practice this evening with alternate nostril breathing. This is a form of pranayama that's very soothing for the mind and body. This helps to reduce stress and anxiety, and alternate nostril breathing also lowers your heart rate. It clears your mind for a good night's rest, so it's the perfect thing to do to unwind before you sleep. Grab a pillow and go ahead and just sit on it. It just makes it a little bit easier to sit up straight and tall. And for this breathing exercise, just relax the left hand down on your knee. We're gonna take the right hand. You're gonna fold down the pointer and middle finger and bring the right thumb to your right nostril. As you're ready, we're gonna block that right nostril and inhale through the left. Block the left with that ring finger and exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Block with the thumb and exhale through the left. Inhale left. Block it and exhale right. Inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. Inhale left. And exhale right. Let's go one more time through. Inhale through the right. Block it. Exhale left. Inhale through the left. Block it and exhale right. Let's do one more. Inhale here. Block the right nostril, exhale left. Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. And then we're just gonna release that and take a nice breath in through both nostrils. And exhale. Well, I imagine you're feeling pretty calm from that. You can continue with the alternate nostril breathing as much as you would like. If that's ever too much or you want to try something a little more simple, you could do Samavriti, which simply means equal inhalations and exhalations, breathing in for a count of five and out for a count of five, both in and out through the nose. When you're ready to move on from your breathing exercise, from there we'll make our way into a child's pose. So we're going to take that pillow and now we're going to use this for our head. So. We're gonna come into this by bringing the big toes together like you would in a normal child's pose. Spread your knees apart as is comfortable for the hips. As we come forward, we're just gonna extend the arms in front of us and bring that right ear down to the pillow to start. You can allow the arms to stay extended or maybe you drop them by your sides. And just take a few nice deep breaths here. Just allow your body to relax. You can stay here as long as you would like. Child's pose is a wonderful restorative posture. It's a gentle low back release, and it's very grounding, comforting, and soothing. We wanna get an even rotation through the cervical spine or the neck. So whenever you're ready, we're just gonna switch sides, and we're just gonna breathe nice and deeply as we bring left ear down.
staying here for several deep breaths, deep inhales, and deep exhales. back up to seated. We're going to take a little child's pose, thread the needle. So just scoot that pillow off to the side and we're just going to extend the left arm forward as we thread the right arm underneath the left armpit. Your left arm can extend ahead and relax and just allow your body weight to gently rest into this right shoulder stretch. This gentle variation of thread the needle is just a nice way to open up the shoulders a place that we tend to store a lot of tension and tightness. So opening up the body is a nice way to allow it to relax and soften, preparing for a good night's rest. Good. When you're ready, nice and slow, we'll just switch sides. Now remember, if that feels really great, you can stay there as long as you'd like. When you are ready, let's switch sides and thread the left arm underneath the right armpit. Take one breath in your normal child's pose. And then we'll slowly roll up to seated. Nicely done. Now we stay there for about five deep breaths on each side, but remember you can always stay there longer if you're really enjoying it. Just continue to breathe, continue to relax and soften. When you're ready, we'll move on to our next pose. This is going to be a seated forward fold, and we're going to grab a pillow or two. So extend your legs out nice and long. Now, this is a restorative version, so just allow the feet to relax. Grab a pillow, and we're just going to place that right on top of the legs. Now, from here, we're just going to begin to hinge forward. Now, you can stay here if this feels okay, and just let the body hang. If you want even more support, you can take a pillow on top to place your head on. We're just gonna stay here for several breaths. So get comfortable, allow the spine to round. You can place your hands forward or down to the side and you can bring forehead straight down. Or you can do one ear and then switch halfway through. I prefer the forehead down. Continue to breathe here. Continue to stay a little bit longer in the stretch if it feels comfortable for you. The seated forward fold is also referred to as the Great Western Stretch, and it's representative of letting things go. So letting the past go, and this can apply to your day. So let that stress melt away. Continue to focus on the breathing. Continue to let the body open. We're creating a gentle lengthening through the hamstrings. We're opening up the entire back body, and this is helping to release tension in the spine as well as through the legs. Remember, you can always pause the video, so enjoy this stretch as long as you would like. When you are ready to move on, we'll just move our pillows off and to the side. And we're gonna move into our next pose. This doesn't require any props or pillows. This is called Ekapada Apanasana. So we're just gonna lie onto the back and hug the knees into the chest. First, we're gonna wrap the forearms around the shins and give yourself a nice big hug here. So try to wrap for opposite elbows if you can. Forearms is okay too. Make sure your feet are uncrossed here and just pull the knees into the chest. 
All right. Now from here, we're just gonna interlace the fingers beneath your right knee and extend the left leg long. Pull your right knee out around and down and toward your rib cage. Good, nice deep breathing here. This pose helps with digestion. So if you have any stomach aches, cramps, bloating, this is a nice gentle way to help alleviate that. It also helps get everything moving. So you can have a nice restful sleep. Good. Now from here, we're gonna move into a little reclined figure four pose. So we're gonna lift that left knee and then stack your right ankle on top of it. Now it's important to keep both of your feet flexed here so that you're protecting your knee joints. And then we're gonna thread the right arm in between the legs and interlace the fingers behind your left thigh now. Now you can make this more of a hip opener by pulling the legs in towards you and pressing the right elbow into the right knee. Nice deep breathing here. And if you ever need to back off a bit, just let those legs fall away from the body. So find that sweet spot where you're getting a nice stretch and then just breathe here. Good. Nice job. We'll slowly release. We're just gonna extend both legs and then we'll switch sides. We're gonna hug the left knee into the chest Interlace those hands beneath the knee and pull the knee down towards your left armpit. Again, Ekapada Apanasana or energy freeing pose. Just a nice, gentle stretch through the hip flexors, through the groin. Nice, deep breathing here. Working into those internal organs, stimulating and detoxifying them. As you're ready, we'll lift that right knee. We'll go into recline figure four, side two. Remember to flex those feet. Left arm threads through. We'll interlace the hands behind the back of the right thigh. Whatever you did on the first side, press into the elbow to deepen or relax the legs away from you to back off. This is essentially pigeon pose on your back. And hip openers are a great way to release any stagnant energy, the hips are where we tend to store a lot of tension, tightness, and even pent up emotions. So working through all of this is going to really help to calm mind and body. Nice deep breathing here. Good. We'll slowly release this down. And one more time, let's hug both knees into your chest. Give yourself one more big hug. Show yourself some love, gently tuck the chin. Hmm. Good. All right, as you're ready, we're gonna make our way into a nice supported spinal twist. So grab one of your pillows and we're just gonna gently let both of your knees drop to the left side of the bed. And then we're gonna prop a pillow in between the knees. So from here, you can just let your arms come out to a T and we're just gonna gently shift the gaze over your right arm. Now spinal twists are a great way to help realign the spine and rehydrate your spinal column. By placing a pillow in between the knees, it's very supportive and restorative. It takes any pressure off the low back and helps you to relax. Deep breathing here. draw the knees through center and you can just drop them over to the opposite side as we shift the gaze to the left. Continue to breathe deeply. 
and just allow your body to soften into the twist. If you ever do have any low back issues, pain, or tenderness, you can always sleep with a pillow between your knees just like this. Just a simple way to take the pressure off so you can get a good night's rest. And when you're ready, we'll come out of it. Gently bring your knees to center and just take a moment here to reset. Spinal twists are so good for your spine because they're really detoxifying for the spine and they really help to counteract any hunching or sitting that you've done for long hours over a computer. So when you're ready, you can just remove that pillow and we're just gonna move into a little happy baby. So you can grab the inner or outer blades of your feet and we're just gonna gently rock side to side. So there's little pressure points just above the tailbone. It feels good to kind of massage those out. Good. And you can, you can make this more active by pulling the feet. So you're pulling the thighs down towards the bed. I'm just gonna get a little leg stretch in here. So you're just gonna bend that left knee a little more and then straighten to the right leg. It doesn't have to be straight. You can keep a bend in it. Just get a nice stretch, maybe open up to the side. Nice deep breath here. We'll come back to center. We'll just switch sides. Just getting a nice little hamstring stretch in in between. Let's go one more time side to side. Nice deep breathing. Again, you don't have to straighten all the way into the leg. Good, final time here. Nice. And then we'll come back to center. And you're just gonna take the bottoms of your feet and allow them to fall gently down to the bed, we're gonna take a little reclined butterfly pose or Supta Baddha Konasana. We're gonna take a pillow and we're gonna prop one under each knee. So try to make it the same size pillow. And then from there you can relax. I like to place one hand over my heart and another over my belly so that even as we're continuing with that deep conscious breathing, we're also establishing mind-body connection by physically feeling the heart and the belly rise and fall through the breath. incredibly restful, restorative posture. We're continuing a gentle opening through the hips, but with the support of the pillows, it makes it completely passive, restorative, and therefore relaxing. We're continuing to create more space in the body as well as the mind. Take a couple more breaths here, or remember you can pause the video and stay as long as you'd like. really want to come out of this pose <laughs> but when you are ready to we're going to bring the hands to the outsides of the knees and help them back to center just make it nice and gentle and just take a moment to let the body recalibrate we're going to move into legs up the wall now if your bed is up against a wall and you would physically like to use the wall you can however we don't actually need a wall for this pose despite the name so what we're going to do is with or without the wall, you're going to plant the feet and lift the hips and we're just going to take a pillow directly beneath the tailbone. And then from there, we're going to lift the legs. And so if you're up against the wall, you just want the back of the thighs to rest against that wall. But if you're not, when we can stack the legs above the hips, you're just gonna be able to effortlessly let them hang. So find that sweet spot. Don't be afraid to play around a bit because you will find that spot where you're able to just let them be. Good. If you need to bend the knees a little bit, whatever you need to do to feel comfortable here. And the arms can just lay down by the sides, palms up or down. And rest here. Legs up the wall is a favorite pose for relieving stress and anxiety. 
It's also incredibly calming as we reverse the blood flow, reverse the energy. And just breathe. Let everything go. Now continue here with your deep breathing and stay here as long as you would like. If you can, I would recommend staying here for a few minutes, but at least for several deep breaths. <sighs> Good. When you are ready to come out of it, we're just gonna bend the knees, hug them into the chest one last time. And then from there, We'll simply plant the feet. We'll come out of it the same way we came in. And nice and slow, lift the hips. We're just gonna remove this pillow. We're gonna prepare for our final Shavasana, which could very well lead to your sleep. So don't be afraid to fall asleep in this Shavasana. Snoring is allowed. We're gonna place that pillow now beneath your knees. And then just let the arms fall off to the side. Now by placing this pillow under your knees, you're just taking all the pressure off of your lower back, which is very relaxing. You can let the feet fall open to the side. You can bring a hand to the heart and over the belly. You can let the arms hang down by the side. And you're just gonna rest. You can stay here as long as you would like. And like I said, you can even fall asleep right from here. But otherwise, just stay here for a good five minutes if you can, focusing on your breathing. If you would like to come out of your Shavasana whenever you are ready, just begin by gently bringing, I'll bring my left arm, bring whatever arm overhead that you would like, gently rolling onto that side and taking a few breaths here. And then gently pressing up as you're ready. Again, remember that you don't need to leave that Shavasana. If you wanna go right to sleep from there or stay lying down, that's actually optimal. Getting a good night's rest is so incredibly important for your health, for your well-being, and your quality of life overall. We perform our very best when we are well rested and we get good quality sleep. Namaste and sweet dreams. <laughs>